All right, Moses Moody joins game day from Las Vegas, where just a couple of days ago scored 34 points. Did not play in tonight's game, but Moses, got to ask you about that game just a few days ago. How were you feeling in it, and uh, how does it feel to no longer be a rookie? A little bit different? Yeah, yeah, it is a different feeling. Just uh, not even necessarily the whole rookie thing, but just being more um, comfortable. You know, I've, I've been I've been through some of this stuff before, been in some of the situations. To have Steve Kerr put so much faith in you to the point where he gave you really significant minutes in the Western Conference Finals. How does that help your confidence, which also leads to your development heading into year two? That's another thing that I've seen, another situation that I've been in, you know, leaving the playoffs and the, and the finals, the highest level of basketball that I've ever played on, and then coming back to the summer league, it's a different approach and I have a different mentality. Gary Payton II is now gone. His shoes are going to need to be filled, meaning that the athleticism and defensive component that he brought to the table will need to be replaced. Are you expecting to kind of maybe step into that role and help fill it? Just like this year, I feel like coming in, I'm, I have a blank slate, uh, not, not necessarily have specific expectations, but I just want to, you know, put, put the work in, take it day by day. James Wiseman looked impressive tonight. First time we've seen him in a Golden State Warriors jersey in 15 months. What about his game impresses you most? Yeah, just just his just a lot, just his, his ability to get play above the rim, protect the rim, dunk the ball, finish, uh, play inside and out. He's got skill to him as well as, well as size and strength. So he's, he's just a really put together player. Well, All right, hypothetical situation here. You're a world-renowned author, and you're writing a book about last year's champion, Golden State Warriors. What would the title of that book be and why? <laughs> the title of the book would be Holy Cannoli. <laughs> you know, it, it, was, it was fun seeing Clay have as much fun as he did out there uh, at the parade and throughout the season, just knowing the journey and everything he's been through. I came in at the latter part of his, of his long journey on the way back but even just seeing the part that I did, then watching him go through the season and make it and accomplish the ultimate goal was everything. So Holy Cannoli is the title of the book. I love it. Uh, from your perspective this season, you start the year playing some games with Santa Cruz and the Warriors over there, and then you come in and your role kind of shifts throughout the year. There were some times late in the year due to injuries and, and just sitting guys out to get some rest where you and Jordan Poole were the star attractions on the team going up against all-star caliber players like Jokic and putting up 30 points in that game in the regular season. How much confidence does that give you? Like, you know, I, I can do this against these guys. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's that, you know, kind of validates what I, what I already thought, you know, just being able to get out there and, you know, confidence is one thing, but when you actually do it, actually do it, then, it, then it's a, a different kind of, a different, different level. Yeah, I mean, going out there, doing what I do, having fun and seeing it actually work is, is something cool to see. You took the night off from playing basketball, but you're not going to take the night off from this one. I got a lot of Arkansas fans in the Bay Area asking for a hog call. Do you have one for me, for us? I give you woo fix to you. That's what I got for you. That's fair enough. All right, Moses Moody entering his second year, scored 34 points in the Summer League in Las Vegas a couple days ago, and he was nice enough to join game day.